<laughs> hey there, it's Jazz, and I'm here to give you a closer look at how the Hugalope attachment system actually works. This fella is almost ready for the ball, but he really needs another ear and another horn. So here's how we attach these. First, we'll take out the pillow, and then we'll turn him inside out. Now you can see what looked like solid fur on the outside actually has dozens and dozens of holes. Each hole is secured by a lovely brass grommet. You can see here where other parts have already been attached. Now, I'll select this spot right here for another ear. I'll keep my finger there and then I pinch and I can find the grommet on the other side. To insert the ear, the ear has its own little toggle, and I just push it through, making sure that the hole is clear of fur. You don't want fur there or it will get caught. Tug from the other side, and it's attached. Here, you can see the toggle really clearly on this horn, and I'll find the hole, just feeling it from the inside, and then again, Make sure the hole on the outside is clear of fur, push it through, give it a little tug from the inside, and there, it's attached. Put the pillow back in, and now he's really ready to go. So now I'm going to show you how we make the caterpillar effect that we showed you in our first video, attaching two Huggalo bodies to each other. I'm going to start by removing the pillows. And I have these special discs with a toggle built into them. So I'll take this disc and I'll push the toggle through the hole from the inside. And then give it a little tug on the outside. And I'll do it again here. So now I've got a toggle in this, coming out of this shell and I'll find the matching hole on this body and just plug it in the same as I would any other part. And now they're attached. Put the pillow back in and they're ready to go. So I hope that gives you a better idea of how our toggle based attachment system works. And thanks for watching, Billy.